Daikon Grow, Part 3. Welcome to Hydro Haven. I've grown some more Daikon radishes. So I'll start off by showing you how I started them, and then we'll go ahead and get these harvested, see how they look. Let's start some Daikons. Got our seeds from our good friends at My Gardener. So the plan is to get three radishes started in this five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket uh, filled with these hydrotin clay pebbles. I have nutrient in here filled up to about an inch, inch and a half below where the clay pebbles are. And pH 5.8 ish TDS 800. And I'm going to start hopefully three. And I'm going to have extras. I'm going to use those extras to use for a different brewing method. So hopefully I can get these to sprout up just so. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Okay, this should be plenty. All right, check back in a bit. Almost forgot we need a humidity dome. I don't have one, so I'm gonna use this cutting board. We'll see how it goes. Imagine it won't take more than two days. We have the radishes started and the clay pebbles. And once we get a few sprouted, I'm going to take a few and grow a couple via a different method. So David Tress from Tress Studios will take a bucket lid and he'll put in a half inch hole. This is a one inch hole demonstration, but he'll take a one inch hole and he'll take the the, the sprout and put it in the hole and it'll grow that way. And he's had good success with that. I recently took a similar concept where I took a cloning collar and uh, cut away the bottom of a two inch net pot. And my fear was that the uh, cloning collar would crush the, uh, the radish, but <laughs> the exact opposite happened. It, it thrashed my cloning collar. So, what I'm going to do is show you how I set this up because it, I had pretty good success with it. So I'm going to take a two inch net pot. These are my CZ net pots. Um, you can use a cheaper one if you want. These aren't that expensive, but I like these CZs because they got the wider rim and I, I just prefer having that wider rim, especially growing things that will be tall. So, all right. So what we have is our two inch net pot. And with one of them, I'll take one of my cloning collars and I'll put a sprout in there and I'll squish it down and put it on my five gallon bucket lid. Or I actually have a three and a half gallon bucket that I might use instead. So I'll have one side with that. And the other side, uh, David suggested that I use a pool noodle because I just happen to have a pool noodle laying around the house. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And let's see. I'm going to guess that much. And just a little bit more. And I did make the noodles kind of thick, just to prevent any light passing through. And then if I need to, I can use this uh, piece as a wedge if I need to close up that gap there. So, all right, so we'll get these hopefully sprouted soon and I'll show you how this looks when we get it set up. We have radishes, humidity dome, courtesy of Cadoba. So the plan is to have three in this bucket uh, with the hydrotin five gallon bucket, and then have two come over here to my three and a half gallon bucket. I have it elevated so they're roughly the same height. So
game time decision. I took the shorter one. These daikons are actually relatively hardy. So I don't want to damage them unnecessarily. And this process, this is the part that I don't like really at all. But I also don't like cleaning clay pebbles. So one of these processes will hopefully be the winner. There we go. It kind of fell down, but don't you worry. It will recover. We're all set up. We have three in our five gallon bucket, two in our three and a half gallon bucket, and I have two snacks. Everything is looking really good. Nice and green. I had a couple more uh, that popped up. Got those thinned out. And I think I'm going to on the full noodle, and I had the little side plug there. So I'm gonna pull that out and give it a little bit of room. So with these daikons, they're gonna expand out anyways, but uh, yeah, just gives it a little bit uh, more space. Do a quick root check. Yeah, looking pretty decent. Is a little bit heavier. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice, white, and fuzzy. Which should we harvest first? Ooh. Let's go ahead and do the clay pebbles. Let's see what we have. So let's take a get a root check here. Oh, fuzzy. Like it. I did put. Oh, about one to two quarts of nutrient in this a few days ago because it was getting a little bit low and I was concerned that it might get a little bit too dry in there but let's see what we have shall we lots of greens so with the greens I cut up the leaves and I use them in stir-fry and they're fantastic okay six weeks not bad Pretty this good. One looks a little bit smaller. Not as impressive, but still nice. Pretty good. I like it. So, one thing I'm not looking forward to is cleaning out all these clay pebbles. So I'm starting to have second thoughts about growing daikons and clay pebbles, although they look really nice. I like the way they look when they come out of the clay pebbles. So next up, holes in the bucket. I should say in the colors. Pretty good. Sure, how I'm gonna get these out. It's just one at a time. There we go. Not too bad. That's one. Kind of had a little bit of a, a funky coloring there to it, but I'm sure that would scrub right off. And then this one is that was the uh, cloning color. This is the pool doodle. And that is wedged in there really good. There we go. It got squished pretty good. So that's looking pretty good for six weeks. So this is my thought. It seems that these would grow well using the setup with the pool noodle and using a five gallon bucket and having three per bucket. And I think I would be able to reasonably 
let these grow for another week. So these have been six weeks since I seeded them. So I think these could go six or seven, eight, maybe nine weeks. The last grow, I think I said it was seven weeks. It was really uh, uh, six weeks or five and a half weeks. So, so let me know what you think. Which method do you prefer and will you grow some daikon radishes? I did the math on it. If I grow six at a time under one light and it takes six weeks, it comes up to be about $1.50 per radish, all things considered. And that may seem like a lot, but as these are growing, I can actually use these leaves, uh, cut the lower leaves and use them for stir fries. And then when I do harvest these, I'll cut all these up, use it in a stir fry. I'm gonna pickle these this time. I found a good uh, video on YouTube about pickling the radishes. So for me, living in Northern Michigan, I don't know if we really have access to good daikon radishes up here. And if we did, I probably wouldn't buy them anyways. So this is kind of a specialty item. So for me, a buck 50 is worth it. So thanks for watching everyone. Smash that like. I'll catch you next time.